Hey, ladies, it's a pleasure to chat with y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Linda, I wanted to start with you. This is a follow-up to your movie from 1993, uh, yeah. Chantilly Lace. Did you have this idea to revisit the characters from that movie? And how did you get everyone to return to this for this film? Well, goodness, I, I did have the idea for many years. Uh, we waited until it was possible. Part of the dream I had was to be able to use footage of us younger. I say us because I feel so much a part of the ensemble. And um, also uh, to give enough time between the two films so that you have the breadth of life experience and history. And uh, I just, so we, do, we had such a special time making the other film. And then after when it was finished, our distributor was just so extraordinary. It went over the world. Uh, Hillary Clinton, who was in the White House, had a slumber party for her friends. <laughs> it was just an amazing kind of iconic event in women being heard. And so I thought it's time to do one now today where women can be heard who are older. Yeah, I'm definitely not the target audience for this movie, but I really did enjoy it. I'm a big fan of everyone. The conversations are so raw and emotional. I didn't feel like I was watching a movie. I just felt like I didn't feel like I was watching, you know, actors and actresses on screen. I just felt like watching real people talking about real things. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like a fly on the wall, I, like in the room with my mom and her friends. But there were some conversations I didn't want to hear, you know. <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm sure your mom, Sean. I'm sure your mom doesn't ever do that. <laughs> but the scene at the very end, Jill and Patricia, made me so emotional at the very end. Um, was that shot at one take? Well, it, we we started one take where uh, part of my technique is to have the people who need to know what's happening know but no one else know. So that the first take I get is raw. Surprise. Real surprise, real surprise. But being such terrific actresses, and every one of them are standing actors, and then it's necessary to do it in multiple takes to get all the various reactions and the rhythm that the scene deserves. So uh, multiple takes is the answer. Right. And I read that like in the first film, everyone was kind of improvising. You were allowing a lot of improvising on the lines. And did that happen in this movie as well? To a, to a fair degree, much less than the first one because it, of the knitted quality that we needed. But still an experiment uh, whether we could accomplish what we did the first time. I felt like... I felt like everyone was speaking from the heart. Everything was so on point and believable. Um, Jill and Patricia, how does it feel like to reunite with all those great actresses and kind of feel like y'all are family? Yeah, we are. We really are. It was wonderful. We, we couldn't believe it when we first walked in and saw each other again. It was just a, you know, really, we realized, we realized how deep those relationships were. And, and we had them again and we got to live together again in the same house so we could go home at night and have dinner and have them s'more. <laughs> um, you know, it was, it was, I think part of the reason is that it's kind of a, it's kind of a scary thing to go out there in front of, in front of the camera and um, in some cases improvise what's going to happen. And so we're kind of in the trenches with each other in a way, but we trust each other so much that um, we know that if we, if we throw the ball, somebody's going to catch it, you know, and Patricia thought fit right in. <laughs> she was a good catcher too. <laughs> and I think we all, um, you know, just, it makes such a difference when you have that kind of a history with each other, you know, and, and it really, it really paid off. And I, I feel like many of us um, are, you know, wiser, better actors, you know, have, have more, more experience now than we did then. And I think it shows in the movie. I, I think that, you know, that's, that's a wonderful aspect of this time issue. No, back, back then y'all had just enough experience too. I love watching all y'all's work throughout y'all's career. I watched almost everything that everyone's in. The whole cast is amazing. I'm like, oh, I love them in this one and this one. I mean, y'all have been part of so many great projects. So it's great to see so many faces I grew up with in, you know, in one movie. How how cold was it while filming? Because that looked really fresh. Uh, there were times it was minus 20. Uh, there were, I, I remember, I, and I'm so, I get cold anywhere. And, and I have these pictures of me on an ice floe shooting the wet scene. And I was like, I over and over again. And it was, I 
everybody totally unaware when you're doing something you love, it gets uh, this one, you know, in the movie I, I needed two of the actresses to go out in the snow. Yeah, we were in the snow. Was that? How cold was it? Tally, Tally, Tally and I did the snow angels. Well, that, that wasn't so bad because because we we dressed for it. You know, we had all these layers on and we didn't have to worry about that. So it was it was fun actually. I highly recommend it. <laughs> it was great last scene. Uh, you know, oh. the, the wind would just, I mean, we really did dress. We were on the water. We're all wearing a ton of coats yeah, and yeah. things that are, and we're still yeah. really cold. <laughs> but we're not, because we pretended we were warm. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we kind of huddled together. <laughs> And, and Patricia, that, that last scene I was talking about that got me so emotional, could you feel like everyone kind of was on the same emotional train? Uh, how, how is that filming that scene? Absolutely. I didn't see it coming the first time. I didn't know she was going to do that. And then, uh, and then as you say, we, we did it more about how everybody, because uh, I didn't know how to react. I still didn't know how to, every time I didn't know how to react and, and to what she was doing. And, but I, I kept checking on, you know, I like Lindsay and, and Talia is particularly close to mom. And so I would just be like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, no, no. It was great because but we were so, by that point, so bonded that I couldn't have that reaction without having the other girls, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you, you know, you were so. so I, I'm pretty excited by that scene because we've seen people deteriorate in films and for various reasons, but we've never really, I've never seen a film that just captures the moment when everyone realizes, uh-oh, something's wrong. Wait, she's not drunk, it's not pills, yeah. it's not that, something might be wrong. Mm -hmm. so, so that was exciting to differentiate from anything else. Yeah. yeah, I definitely teared up. You got this guy to <laughs> tear up for that one, but gotcha. yeah. <laughs> you got me. I'm a softie though. I'm a softie, but no, great film. I loved it. Really enjoyed it. Great dialogue. And I'm definitely going to tell my sister and my mom to watch this one. So thank you all for your time. <laughs> <laughs>